Sirs and madams, wherever you are, thank you for your time and attention. This is a recap of composing a video highlight part two. We have succeeded in making our first cut. Along the way, we started with a game plan. We were calling this actor tracks in our mind's eye. We wanted to add a text intro to set the scene. We wanted to experiment with room voice versus speaker voice. We actually didn't do that so much with the voice as we did with the visuals. And we thought we were going to test animated slides and test animated panning. And we didn't. On the plus side, we made a significant, significant cleanup of our video highlight design factors, and one of our key points of view was to remember that this is a highlight and there's a video watcher watching it, even though in the original situation that was recorded, uh, they were different people. So we have two different audiences there. We spent some time on what is our intention and who are the stars, what are the relative things we want focused on in the video. And we also experimented with some of the visuals of, of the room. So let's review what the beginning starts like here. So let's get through this next slide. Effective teams share roles. So please focus in on that. Cam click. Along the way, as we mentioned, we began to experiment with what we ended up calling visual breaks. So for example, there's quite a, a couple minutes there of this slide staring us in the face and we're using a dark highlight uh, where the caption says team roles. When you're looking at the final, at final product, for example, it's sober, it's strategic, it's discerning. You know, we're on track, we're not on track. I think we've got our bases covered, there's one base not covered, you know, we need to do this. And finally, the computer finisher. By the way, this is a side comment. I'm spending time on this because in the next part, after a little so right there, we jumped to the classroom view, which wakes us up, and it says, why is this important? And then we go back into it. And so this was part of our uh, design factor. It's kind of room motion and room, it's room visual and room audio. We were, also you heard a little bit of echo in there and we talked about the echo is coming because there are, the speaker sound is coming to us like that. And we had the room video and we had the phone video. We had the, the videographer video had sound in it and the phone, had sound in it, so we, ha we actually have two sound sources coming at us, and we get the occasional echo. And sometimes we leave the echo in because it sounded cool, and sometimes we take it out because it's distracting. Okay, then we got about, that was about 10 minutes on that part, and then we... Headaches of teamwork so much that you might even enjoy it not only as a team member but as a team leader and every one of you here is 
fully capable of being a team leader, whether formally designated or not. And so, uh, we also made a point of coming back to our video highlight plan and talking about who our audiences are and what is the purpose. And the overall class, the goal, improve individual knowledge and skills working in teams and improve team performance and success. That is what we're after. And we're using everything we can from our palette to shift their perspective or in such, give them a, a sensation, a sensation and ideas in such a way that automatically their perspective and behavior shift over the course of time and they become better team members and their teams become better teams. So that's what we're after here. And here we are, we just said that and then boom. Good job. So please cam alt click on. We do another visual shift that corresponds with the shift in the idea and the shift in the voice. And then we come here near the end. And as you can, as we can see, we, we kept using that idea of visual breaks. Here we have a slide in our face with a caption. Really beneficial. You and can't we, get what you want if you can't. And we, we keep the caption, but we shift to the room view. And we finally get to the end. And roll Tay will have it linked in the module blog. Class summary. Over to you, Tay. And we're done. So our next steps are going to be to we'll, we'll render this video. It's about 20 minutes long, 10 minutes on the team role and importance, and then 10 minutes on the persona theory and how it applies to it. And then we'll look at that test render. We'll jot little notes on our napkin, just like we did during this work session and make final adjustments and have a final render and post it. Thank you for your time and attention. And as always, keep on streaming.